Thank you, Acting Deputy President. Uh, as has been pointed out, Australians love their sport, and uh, climate change is threatening our way of life here in Australia and it is affecting sports. This is happening now. Sport is already feeling the effects of climate change. I think it's really important to remember that in the context of this debate. We're seeing sporting clubs not being able to ensure, ensure against uh, bushfire, against um, flood damage, and uh, pitches being too hard to be played on in, in, during droughts. This is having an effect already. We hear the arguments for fossil fuel sponsorship in sport. You do need sponsors in sport. That's, that's, that's clear in professional sport. Community sports often rely on it too. Uh, but fossil fuel companies represent only 3.5% of sport and business partnerships. So this is not an insurmountable challenge. And clearly a lot of sports are working on this. Uh, it's curious that many of these fossil fuel companies do not sell a product to consumers. So I think clearly this is about social license and I think that's the concern of athletes who have been raising concerns about them being used to extend the social license of an industry which has many of those companies have no plans of, of winding down and transitioning. That's, that's the concern. We're not saying turn off the, the tap on fossil fuels today. We're saying we need to be part of a transition and many of these companies uh, who sponsor sport don't have a, a, um, a plan uh, I, I'm out of time, but I do want to point out, this is the first time the Greens have met, mentioned fossil fuels uh, sponsorship in sport, and this is not adequate time to debate something like this before putting it to a vote to the Senate. This warrants much more debate, and I am disappointed that we're going to hear a minute or two from senators Thank and then a vote very much, Senator on this. Uh, my Your point. time has expired. Senator Canavan. Uh, thank you very much, Madam.